Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I obviously have no makeup on and I wanted to do a makeup look with the new Anastasia Sultry palette. In my previous video, I talked about this palette and how I've been using it a lot. So I actually wanted to do a tutorial with it. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do yet, so we shall see. The, these really pretty shimmery shades in there. I've really been liking the that one there, that one, that, like they're all really pretty, these shimmery ones on the top. And then you have that silver one down there. So anyway, we're gonna get started. I have no makeup on and yeah. All right, so guys, what I'm gonna do first, it's my eye makeup. So that way if I have any fallout or anything like that, I can go ahead and dust that away. All right do um, is I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna take that shade right there called fresh and I'm just gonna put this all over my lid my skin is really bad today I've got a lot of redness going on um, my dark circles aren't looking too hot either Obviously, if, obviously, if you want, use an eyeshadow primer. I only use primers when I'm like gonna be out for a special event or I really want it to last all day. But eyeshadows on me typically don't crease, um, and these eyeshadows are good. But if you wanted an eyeshadow primer, you can go ahead and do that. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be dusting this away with a makeup wipe. Sometimes you see me do the tape technique. Sometimes you'll see me lay something to get that sharp angle, but I'm not gonna worry about that today. I'm gonna show you like something else that I do. You just like do your makeup how you want. That's why I recommend doing it before you do your foundation because we're gonna clean everything up at the end, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and take a fluffy brush and I think I'm gonna start with, I think I'm gonna take a mixture of twig and birch, these two um, colors right there, birch and twig, get a little on my brush and I'm gonna put this into my crease. And I don't have the makeup on, so over here on the end, I don't care how messy that is, I'm gonna clean that up after. I'm gonna go into that again, just cause I wanna deepen it up a little bit. My eyes are hooded. So I make sure I bring the color all the way up into this area, otherwise when I open, it'll be lost in the crease. So keep that in mind when you're doing your eyeshadow everyone's eye shape is different. So as you're doing your transition color, stop what you're doing and open up your eyes and see if you can see the color. So now that I have that in there as my base transition, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to another shade. I'm gonna take Dystopia in the Dark Brown right there and start to deepen up my crease a little bit. Again, we're gonna clean up the edge. I'm gonna place the color out there cause that's where I want it. And then I'm gonna bring it in, but I'm depositing most of the color on this outer edge here, and then what's left on the brush I'm bringing in through the crease. Now I want a little bit of black in there. Take this pencil brush because I don't want a lot, and I'm gonna dip into, into to Noir, the black shade, and I wanna keep this shade lowest, definitely focusing on the outer V area right here. I'm just gonna bring it in a little bit. I'm keeping it low. Then once I have where I want it, I'm gonna go in with that smaller blending brush I was using before. Just blend it a little bit, but I'm not brushing it, like swirling it up high. I'm just kind of doing windshield wiper motions just to blend it. And if you're a beginner, I do recommend these Anastasia palettes because they do blend well. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now, as I'm doing this, you're probably like, whoa, that looks so sloppy and horrific. But don't worry guys, it all comes together. And I think that's why some people get frustrated 
when they're doing their makeup because they're starting to do it and then you're like oh my god that looks horrible but I'm kind of like used to it now and I'm like used to the process and you just gotta finish it up clean it up and then once you start putting your foundation and everything on it just looks so good so same thing I laid the black down where I wanted it now I'm just taking this brush and I'm just going back and forth back and forth I just want to blend it I want it to be I'm shaking up some MAC Fix Plus. I want it to be extra shiny. So if you want, I would dampen a brush. I'm just using a flat brush like this. I'm going to get a little bit of the rose quartz on my brush. I'm spritzing it. Now I'm going to go ahead and start laying that on the lid. Okay guys, so we've got that down. If you wanted some more gold, you could potentially put some gold on there. I have this Stila. It is in metallic pixie dust. Maybe I'll add a little bit of that to give it more shine. It looks like this. It's kind of like got a pinkish base, but then it's got iridescent type of glitters in it. I'm just gonna tap my finger in it. And add a little on top because this already has that kind of like goldish glitter in it. This just adds a little bit more spark. I'm gonna be putting lashes on at some point, so I am gonna take a black eyeliner, and I'm running a small amount on the upper lash line. This would look pretty with a winged eye if you have the eye shape to pull it off, which I don't. Now's the part we're gonna clean it up and then uh, we'll move on. So I like using the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes, but anything will work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first take anything that fell underneath my eye. Then, since we didn't put tape or anything, I don't want to go too high. I wanna go out a little bit more because when I do my lower lash line, I want the eyeshadow to match up with this eyeshadow. So if I do it too high up, there's gonna be like eyeshadow here, skin, and then my eye makeup. So I wanna make sure that when I go to do the lower lash line, they're all gonna link up. So I'm gonna first, I'm just gonna put it a little bit below my lower lash line, close my eye, and voila. See the difference? I'm gonna use Estee Lauder Lash Envy and I'm just gonna put a coat on because I am gonna put lashes on. I haven't used these ones before. These are 252 Ardell Mega Volume. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these lashes on and then we will come back and we'll do the face makeup. All right guys, I've got the eyelashes on. Once you have that, I recommend taking a black liner and going on top of the waterline. It looks kind of gross, but it helps like fill in that like skin space. So that way if you have any skin, you can kind of like Fill it in and it just makes the eyelashes blend better. Now that the eyelashes are on, we're gonna go ahead and put on some face makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, it's a little extra. This was my wedding headband. And you know, I figured, might as well use it. Why only wear it once, right? I mean, it's too much to wear out and about. I'll look like a ding dong, but you know. It's so freaking beautiful. I just love it. All right, I'm gonna take my Sonia Kashuk sponge. If you wanna use a primer, go ahead. I don't use primers very often. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. This is my go-to foundation. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that 
on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to start putting that onto my face. But I've got the foundation on. I'm going to go ahead and put some concealer on. I'm going to go ahead and use the Makeup Revolution. This is in C2. This isn't as full coverage as the Tarte, so you can go ahead and put more on. And go ahead and put it anywhere else you want to highlight. I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes with my Lancome, Lancome, whatever, long time no shine powder. I just use this sponge to apply that. Now I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush using that same powder and I kind of just pounce it all over. If you wanted to cream contour, obviously do that before you powder your face. I'm going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. I'm using the... Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. This is really cheap and I really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back from that. Now let's go ahead and do the lower lash line. I don't want a lot going on down there because I have smaller eyes. I'm going to take the same pencil brush that we had used for the black. Except I'm going to go in with Twig that brown color there, and I'm gonna dust some of that under my lash line. I'm gonna go into my highlighter. I'm gonna take strobe, this top one here. I'm gonna put that up here, it's kind of like a neutrally one. This will kind of go with any eye look. It's not too like silvery, it's not too gold. It's like a nice neutral highlight. So I'm gonna put that right under the brow. Then I'm also gonna take it and put it on the inner corner. All right, that's all we're pretty much going to do with that. Now we are going to go in and start our face. I'm going to go in with my Tartius Pro Glow Palette and take the Sculpt color. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of this where I would contour. I'm then going to take a small brush and go into Sculpt and I'm going to put a little bit of this on my nose. I'm going to go in with L'Oreal Paradise, this peachy blush here. I start at the apples and then bring it back to blend into the contour. Now for my highlighter, I think I'm gonna just go in with this shade here. I really like this one because it's kind of neutral and I can do whatever. I'm not gonna highlight 
my nose yet. See how pretty that is? I'm like using too much, but I'm going to take a dab of that top one and do it right. Boop, boop. Woo! Okay. Now, we're going to do a quick little bakeage. I'm going to take the Cody Airspun powder. Then, I'm going to go ahead and take this flat brush. And go like so. If you came down too low with your contour, you can clean it up. And I'm also going to do a little bit with my nose. I'm going to take this and go down the side. And then also down the center. We're going to let that sit while we do our lips. I think I'm going to do a neutral lip. I'm going to go in with my cork lip liner from MAC. Now, I'm going to go in with ColourPop Cookie lippy stick Holding. yeah I'll be done in a couple minutes wearing a tiara. what are you wearing a tiara uh yeah it's a headband um it's just to get hair out of my face it sure it is shut up princess. stop judging me <laughs> I'm gonna lighten that up a smidge. So this is a Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer Lip Gloss. What is this? In teas. Put a little bit of that in the center. Mm. See what I mean? Like overlining your lips a little with a darker shade. Makes your lips look more plump. Okay. Now we're gonna dust off this baking. See how our contour just looks phenomenal. Brush off our nose. And the last thing I want to do is just highlight my nose. I'm going to take my finger and take that color. Put it right down the center. And then we're putting it on the tip of our nose. Like that. Okay, guys. Oh, we want mascara. For the lower lashes. And my face is super matte and powdery. So I do want to mist it. I'm going to take some of the MAC Prep and Prime. This is the Fix It in the Gold. This thing comes out a little blobby, which is what I'm not entirely fond of. That's what I created. Let me zoom in. My face is still a little wet, but that's what we did with that palette. Let me know if you guys used it. Let me know if you've 
been liking it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click on my face right here and it'll subscribe you. And stay tuned for more videos. Thanks, guys.